studio I hope you're ready for some more fun I want to continue playing with those new eye candy neons that I got in so let's get down and see what we're gonna work on today okay I got these nice wood plaques they're taped on the back um, I pre-painted them white they are eight and a half by five inch so they're sort of a nice not too small but not too big shape to play with uh, today we're going to play with my golden plumeria and our featured colors will be the new neons I got from eye candy so this is blaze orange I've got UFO green firebird red and Saturn yellow and then adding to that and you'll be surprised how few colors I'm picking okay not that few I have my, of course, 14K Nugget Gold, because I like my bling. I'm going to add some Rainbow Blue, so these are not neons, and some Watermelon, because I want all nice bright colors. Then my cell activators are going to be the Permanent Blue Violet from Amsterdam and the Amsterdam Titanium White. I do have some two paints. I've got a little bit of Vermilion here. I've got a tiny bit of the neon pink left. And I've got some Amsterdam Naples Yellow Deep, so I may throw those into the mix also. But we're just gonna have some fun and experiment with some blooming on some wood with these neon colors. I'm gonna go for some really bright ones today, which is why we're gonna use the Plumeria. This one, a little vermilion. UFO. Because this is an oval, I'm sort of making my puddle in an oval also that we are working the bloom with the shape of our canvas. I should have put these colors below the neons, not above, but we will be fine. I give us some bling. Cell activator suit. Alright, and we're going to start with the permanent blue violet. We're going to put the white on top. Be ready. Not 
best blowing. Pretty in this. It's a little too much to this side, not enough to that side, so we're going to tilt it just a little that way first. Help us move it around a bit so we don't lose all the pretty and stuff with just the rest. Spin that. Okay, I want to tilt that way just a little. So I want to get a little more off that end. That's bright. Wow, look at that, guys. That is pretty. Woo! Okay. Let me clean up and get ready for the next one. Okay, we are ready for number two. center my puddle a little more. A little tilt here, hold up. This table has used it a bit. There we go. Alright. Put a wee bit of that Naples yellow in the center just to hold up my cell activator. Violet, my 
titanium white. We are ready to go. Now this time I think I'll move you down a bit. Hold on. Let's get you over here so you can see the blow better without my head being in the way. like in this sort of spot right here, but we can fix that as we go. Pretty, this is really pretty here. This is a little, I don't know, not really, not enough, not enough movement cell. I don't want to get rid of this. I'm not super happy with this over here. Maybe I'll add a little tiny bloom here and go that way. When I say little tiny bloom, I mean little tiny bloom. Just a few little colors. A little spot. Just to sort of enhance over here. is I'm going to put my cell activator to this side and blow in one direction. spin. And tilting the C. Bring it back up now. Tilting a bit to see uh, how much paint is left. You want to see how much it's moving and that tells you whether you got enough paint off or whether you need to spin some more. I'm gonna spin it just a wee bit more. You definitely don't wanna to leave too much paint on because that is going to cause it to crack. And we don't wanna ruin a perfectly good painting by having it crack on us. Oh, I'm loving the green on this one end. See, now that is gorgeous. Oh, 
this is gorgeous. All right, let's pop that up. I'll give you a little close up here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. All right. Let me clean up and we'll go for number three. All right, number three. These are looking so, so gorgeous. Okay, let's get those colors down. So I think we'll start this one with the pink on the bottom to paint neon pink. And again, I'm going to change your angle for a second, just so you're over there. You can see me blow it without, sorry for the motion sickness. All right. out enough. Ooh, there's still a lot there. thing for a minute while I play. stuff fell off the side here already. The problem with an oval is you've got to remember to blow lengthwise more than side to side. Bring 
bring it back up. Oh, look at that. Woo! That's pretty. All right, let's pull that guy up. Look at that. Oh, yep, we are getting my neon bling on today. Look at those cells. Woo! All right, let me clean up a bit and I will show you all of them one last time for wet results. Hang in there. Okay, we have wet results. So let's start here with the first one. Look at the shimmer on that. Oh, I'm loving these colors. Here's number two. Oh, I'm hoping these dry well because I'm loving this. Look at this one. Oh, number three. Gorgeous. Oh, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Hang in there and let's see if they'll dry in time. Okay, everyone, I've got my black light turned on, my brand new black light. This is the one I did in a previous video when I first got my neons. This is it under the black light. It's now all dry. Now this week's ones are not 100% dry. They're maybe 80% dry, but look at them under the black light. Look at that pop of color. Ooh, that is so awesome. All right, hold on, let me turn the lights back on. Okay, like I said, these are about 80% dry, but they are looking so cool. This is them under regular light. They came out really awesome. This is the third one. Off, oh, but I'm loving that black light look. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. This is part of our Monday Loco train, so please follow along. In the description box will be any links. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful week.